Hi everyone. So this is going to be a tutorial about how to create a custom button within Clow. So first of all, you want to go ahead and draw your shape. I want to create a little heart shape button. So I go in here um, into my polygon tool and start drafting a mirrored heart shape. So I only have to draft one side of it and then close the shape. After that, I can go in with the transform pattern tool and resize the heart or squish it so it's a little nicer. Then I'm going to try to align the shape with the zero point of the coordinate system. That's going to be important later on for registering the button as a button that can be used with the button tools. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, just going to have a look from the top if it's exactly on the middle point, because that's exactly what I need later on. So now I'm going to reduce the particle distance because I don't want those um, edgy corners or I, I want the heart to be round and also increase the thickness. So that's just up to your taste really. Then also I'm going to change the color. I want red heart buttons. So I'm going to change the color to a bright red and then I still have to go and bring the shape close to the ground, the floor in the 3D window. That's important for the um, distance that the button is going to have to the fabric later on. And now I want to export it as an OBJ. So the only importance here is that you export it as a thick object. And the scale depends on the scale that you want to import it um, with later. So one more thing I need is a photo. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a screen grab. And save that with my OBJ. Now I can go and open a new window, a new file, and I will draw two patterns. Um, I mean, they're just squares here. I'm just going to copy that one symmetrically by hitting Control D on my keyboard. Um, and I need two so I can use the button hold tool and button the, the two things up. So then I pin them in the top so they won't fall to the floor once I simulate. And now I can go and play some buttons on the lower yeah, placket, let's say. So I'm just going to go and place these four buttons here. And with the edit button tool, I can select all of them, make a right click and select duplicate to mirror pattern. So here's what you want to do for um, getting your own button, your own OBJ in there. So you want to go to the object browser and click on the button tab and then click on the button and on this little plus next to the preview. And then you have to add the OBJ that you exported in the earlier project and also the screenshot. So that's going to be a preview in the object browser. And then just hit OK. And that's how easy it is to register the OBJ as a button. And now they come in, they come in quite big because that's how big I drew them. But that's no problem at all. You can just go into the object browser, the button tab, and then change the size. You could also go and change the width, so the thickness. Now I'm going to go and button them up. And if I now simulate, you can see the two patterns are connected. They're buttons. The buttonhole is connected to the button. So here I just wanted to show you that you don't have to register the button every time. You can also just go and click on open if you've saved the button as a BTN file, a Clo button file. And that's how easy you can apply them to any project that you're working on. 
And here I'm going to add a copy of the button because I want a smaller one on the pocket there on the dress. And I'm just going to rename the button to well, 12 millimeters because that's what I want here. And then just drag and drop it onto the button on the pocket. And that's how easy it is to create your own custom buttons within Clo. So if you have any questions, just uh, put them in the comments. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.